can't just keep taking this home and worrying about it. I've already got a plan. You know, I'd make lesson plans for the next week. I've already got my plan. I need to let go of that. Okay, difficult people. Can anybody relate? <laughs> <laughs> There's difficult people in our lives. They may be in our own families, or they could be at work, a work relation, or our neighbors. But, you know what, like we, we learned a few weeks ago, um, do everything that is within you to be at peace with all men. Okay, I've done that. I just need to let it go. My parents, I, my parents are elderly and I'm involved in their care. They moved to Los Osos to be by me because I'm the, the, the daughter in the family that takes care of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but, you know, I, okay, it's on my calendar. I go over there Tuesdays and clean and I go over Friday or Saturday to see how they're doing. My mom has dementia and my dad's getting more and more feeble. I need to I need to get that off my back because I've already got the time schedule. I can't keep carrying worrying like what are they doing? What are they are they okay today? I need to let this one go. I need to let let it go into the arms of God. I feel it's been getting a little lighter. <laughs> the world situation. Is anybody worried about that today? It's just heating up around the world. If you and you know the Middle East is sort of becoming pretty crazy. So I can I can carry that. I can worry about that. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let go of it today. I'm gonna put it in the hands of the Lord. The future. There's a lot of ifs about the future. Not, you know, maybe. Well, I don't. I don't know how long I'm gonna. Live. I don't know how long Tom's gonna live. I don't wanna be alone. You know. I don't know. There's a lot of things we don't know about the future. But God knows. I need to let that one go. Our finances. I, I pay the bills, so like I have this mental thing in my head. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so I need to stop that roll, with that whatever we call it, that tape player. You know, it just keeps playing. You know, and once I pay the bills and God's God's provided for us, I need just to let it go. I'll give it to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> in your life, you can take their stuff on too. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's true. So, I, you know, I that's that's I can't take on it. I can't take everything on. I just gotta let it go. Like, you better keep that one in the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> but worrying and praying. That's funny. Okay. Retirement. Okay, I work for the state of California. California going to go bankrupt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is my retirement going to be there? I just need to trust the Lord. Okay. Looks like that's about it. Oh, it feels better. I think I can handle this. I'm used to it. So, I mean, I'm that kind of person. I, I carry everybody's stuff. You guys know the definition of codependent, right? It's when, when I'm, someone who on their deathbed sees someone else like it going before their eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
at it thinking, I just need to let it be. I just need to let it be. It's beautiful. It's free. I'm free. There's so many things in life we don't understand. There's so many things we have no control over. So instead of my usual way of just trying to, I can, I can take care of this. I, I, I take care of people. That's what I do. <laughs> I can take care of this. Just let it go, Terry. Just let it be. Let it be. And that's been sort of a, at this season in my life, I'm learning this at a new level, to let it go, let it be with God. And God's given me that, that freedom. And, you know, I'm tired of beating myself up for having anxiety because Jesus understands. He wouldn't have spoke so much about it in his own words to our anxiety if he didn't. He understands. He's not taking a laugh on <laughs> you worry more. <laughs> He's not. He understands, and he, and that's why, like, what I turned the other day to start the Sermon on the Mount. Was, you know, I always tend to get stuck on the Beatitudes because they're so beautiful. Blessed are the poor in spirit. I don't know, but there's the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn. But further on, there's ten verses Jesus spoke about anxiety. And it um, starts with verse 25. For this reason, I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor for your body, as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you worth not more than they? And who of you, by being worried, can add a single hour to his life? That's a good one for me to hear. I can stop right there in my meditation some mornings because I think I'm doing something by worrying. Like, I don't worry who's going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Really, it does nothing. <laughs> and it can't, uh, it takes, you get all sorts of physical symptoms from worrying. And why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow. They do not toil, nor do they spin. Yet I say to you, that not even Solomon in all of his glory clothed himself like one of these. God's going to provide for us. But if God so clothed the grass of the fields, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? That's what it's about. Let my faith grow. Do not worry then, saying, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. He knows. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So I just, I'm thankful that Jesus wants to set us free, that he cares. He cares enough about us. He knows our, what we worry about. He knows we're concerned for our future. He doesn't beat us up. He isn't calling us names. We worry more. But he, he understands what he does want us to be free. He came that we may have life and have it abundantly. And this is hope. This is keeping us from having that life. It's that heavy backpack is weighing us down. And he really wants us to be free. He has a lot, he has a lot for us in this life. A lot he wants us to do, a lot of joy he wants us to ex experience. So I just I just I just want to ask right now for the Holy Spirit to come and we're just gonna have a time of ministry and pray, Holy Spirit, that you would you would come right now and fall upon us again. I just want to ask you to just spend a couple a moment, a few moments with Jesus right now.
you sent us a comforter to be with us till the end of time. Come, Holy Spirit. I can just testify that Terry has um, made huge strides. Being married to a someone who worries a lot, I mean, she worries a lot. That and her kids are like everything to her. So she's been able to let that go. And she's done it because God showed her that that she could. And so I just want to just, we may have had a word from, from Carol. So I just want to ask you, don't be shy. When, when you come up here, you're not coming up to Tom and Terry, you're not coming up to you know, in the front, in the front row. You're coming before Christ to say, I need help. I need help. Cool, help. Church. Julie Waldorf. Julie Waldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.